Infinity, exclusively at Cunning Dental, is the latest technology in the teeth in a day procedure. What makes Infinity different? Infinity teeth are individually milled custom zirconia crowns that are more durable, lighter, and stronger. They have a shock absorbing substructure which helps take the impact off of your implants. Come and feel the difference between the old and the new with Infinity. Call now to schedule your free exam, CT scan, and x ray. Call 855 9 Cunning. So, with a Planet Fitness Black Card, I'll get a post workout glow like that guy. Everybody knows that you need to glow. And I get a free Amazon Halo to track my fitness and sleep. Sign up for the PF Black Card for $1 down, $24.99 a month to get a free Amazon Halo View. Ends March 15th. With Morgan Morgan, the process in general, very easy. On a scale of 1 to 10, I'll get him a 12. Matthew Reese joins us live in studio to talk about Perry Mason Season 2, plus how to prep for a good night's rest ahead of daylight savings with the Sleep Doctor tomorrow. Now at five, fears of potentially catastrophic conditions are growing as another storm takes aim at local mountains communities. How residents who are still recovering from previous storms are preparing. And a murder suspect accused of stabbing a high school student to death is arrested following an hours long standoff. We've got the latest on the investigation and how the victim's family is reacting. Plus, police say a man snuck into a local high school and sexually assaulted a number of female students. What well, we're learning about the suspect now in custody and how he was able to gain access to campus. The KTLA News at 5 starts right now. Good evening, you're watching the News at 5. I'm Pedro Rivera. And I'm Mary Beth McDade in this Wednesday evening for Sheriff Calvin. Thank you so much for joining us here. Well, we're not out of the woods yet, folks. A new storm is approaching Southern California, and it could trigger landslides in the mountains and hillsides. Warm rain could melt snow and lead to swollen rivers and streams and localized flooding. Let's get right to KTLA's Gene Kang joining us live from Crestline, which is still recovering from earlier storms. Gene. Hey there, Pedro and Mary Beth. You know, these folks out here in Crestline in the mountain areas in San Bernardino, they really need a break. But as you mentioned, the area where people have been talking to each other, lending some moral support. Now, I just talked to some of the emergency officials on the latest. They are very aware of that bad weather on its way. There's a lot of snow on the ground that could cause some ice damming and increased weight loads on roofs. So that's a concern. Currently, our efforts are coming quite well. Crews are making great progress, making their ways into homes. I've heard multiple stories today. I was talking to a gentleman earlier, and he was talking about the way he was locked in his house for 14 days straight. And Cal Fire crews made it up to his front door and were able to dig his entire driveway out. Take a look at this new video. Cal Fire and California National Guard members use shovels and snow blowers to remove feet of snow from roofs. This is the local post office in Crestline. They're going from business to business and home to home to try and prevent more of those roofs from collapsing because of the heavy weight of the snow and the ice. Now take a look. Officials say these are the numbers that you will need. Non-emergency phone numbers for those who need help. The call center is 909-387-3911. And for prescriptions, it's 909-833. Roads in the backcountry two weeks ago ago, a brutal winter blizzard hit San Bernardino mountain communities pretty hard, as you see from this video. Roughly 6 to 12 feet of that snow still piled up on the side of the roadways. And take a look at this. Crestline Cafe, going out of their way, gave away free food, milk, eggs, bread, bacon, and personal hygiene supplies, as well as the local McDonald's in Crestline as well. They're making sure that people get the necessities that they desperately need today. Now back out here live, we're talking two weeks after the blizzard hit. Uh, we know that there could be more snow and ice. That's the big concern. Coming up in the next hour, we're getting new reports of possible deaths, people trapped inside of their homes. We're going to confirm information on that. And I just talked to a couple who say they were up the hill, stuck in that house behind me for about 14 days. First time they got out of the house was today. More on that coming up next. Putting live here in Crestline, back to you in the studio.
Gene, thank you. Mm, yes, and uh, well, it doesn't sound like we have any end in sight, right, Vera? We have, what, two storm systems? Oh, we do, that way? we do. Uh, I'm like, trying to imagine being stuck in a house for 14 days. Oh. Wow. That is quite severe. Uh, yes, outside the beautiful view, we do have uh, the winds with us this afternoon. So far, though, no wind advisories to mention. But as Mary Beth mentioned, we do have a couple more storms heading our way. So even though the snow levels are going to remain quite high, which is, you know, what Gene was just talking about, there is is going to be uh, the possibility that that snow is going to get really compact and very heavy because of the rain that's going to be falling. Uh, this is going to be a warmer system.